Hi friends, welcome to Nessa's Nook. I was asked a while back by a godly home and my friend, um, Melanie. She has a spice, best spice collaboration going. And I told her, yes, I would get into it because I like getting into collabs because I always think they're fun. However, I'm not one to make up a lot of different spices. However, I did find a few last night. I do plan to make, so watch out for those. But tonight I am going to make, or make an attempt to make, um, some chicken uh, fajitas. <clears throat> My husband's not a big fan of fajitas, and I don't know why. I, I just, I really like them, but he doesn't. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I asked my daughter because she was the one who always made these for us. And I'm like, well, what do you use? And she goes, well, this, this, this. And I'm like, oh, okay, let me try to find um, one that I would actually like and I could just actually make up. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. And I'll bring it down here and show you. Now, it's going to be actually finished tonight, um, obviously, with dinner. So you'll see the whole thing being put on here. But what you use is equal amounts two tablespoons of uh, paprika. And if I open up all my new spices, um, two of, however you say it, cumin, cumin, cumin. All right. Two of some garlic. All right. Two of some onion powder. This makes a lot more than I thought it would. Now, my husband is not a fan of paprika or of uh, cilantro at all. So I'm only going to use just maybe about a half a teaspoon because he's just not a super fan of it at all. I mean, he'll eat it in my homemade salsa, but he's just, if we never had it again, it'd be a day too soon. So go ahead and give this a big shake here. I mean, it looks really pretty. It's not all shook in there yet. Oh, I forgot the oregano. Hold on one second. Let me go grab the oregano here. I thought I was missing something. Then two tablespoons of oregano. Now, this calls for salt, but I am not going to add more salt because there's, I just, you don't, I don't believe that you need to have all the salt that a lot of these things have in it. And um, if you want any heat at all, you can add the the pepper flakes or some cayenne pepper. Um, I might, when I make this, I might put a little bit of um, uh, cayenne in this, but I don't want much heat because I'm a chicken and I just can't handle the heat. So let me... Push this off to the side. Show you what that's looking like. And I'll tell you how this smells. I'm very grateful now that I have pretty much 99% back of my smell. And that smells really good. I mean, it's, you can tell it doesn't have the spice in there, which is okay. Because like I said, you can always add it. Um, because it's just the two of us, I was going to make a double batch, but I'm really wondering if you even need to make a double batch. I mean, that should be more than enough, I would think. Well, I'll find out today. Um, but that's quite a bit. So, um, yeah, I mean, I, hopefully this works out really well. I'll be cutting up the um, peppers here in just a few minutes. I'll get the chicken ready. I want to get this kind of like marinated and put in the fridge get this all put in together and see how that's going to go. And then I'll be right back. So down here I have three green peppers and one yellow, one orange, one red. And what I'm going to be doing is, um, is slicing these up really thin. And um, this way I can have... Yeah, I have to add the onion too, but uh, what I'm going to probably do is just cut all these up. This is going to be way too much for this particular meal, but I'm not for sure if there's going to be enough in there to uh, possibly um, 
make maybe a second or third meal out of this. But what I'm going to do is I'll get this sliced up and get the onions sliced up and I will be right back. Okay, I took out the tenders that I had in the freezer. I'm going to go ahead and cut these up a little bit smaller because I don't want super huge chunks of meat. I guess the only time I don't mind a bigger chunk of meat is if it's like a steak or a burger. I know that's kind of crazy, but you know how all of us, we have our little quirks. So I did get the peppers and the onions all cut. Isn't that just absolutely beautiful? So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to go ahead and finish cutting these. And um, I will get the bag out and we will go ahead and get these marinated for a few hours. So what I'm going to do is reshake this back up now that it has had a chance to really settle. Go ahead and take the lid off. Now I don't know for sure if I'm doing this the right way or the wrong way. Like I said, I've never really made these. This was something my daughter would make for us. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and put the chicken in the bag real fast. Move this cutting board and wash my patties. Alright, so what I'm going to do at first is take some of the olive oil. Just go ahead and dump some of that in there. I don't know how much I'll need, but I'm going to go ahead and dump some of the spice in there too. Kind of close that up. Give that a jiggle. Try to get everything kind of nicely seasoned in there. I think I'll put a little bit more oil in here. And then I grab a few handfuls of the peppers and onion mix. And I should have enough for this meal and probably two more because there's still about that much left. I'm going to go ahead and throw in a little bit more seasoning. Gives us more of just a shape to get all that seasoning on all the peppers and everything. I hope this ends up tasting good. I mean, it looks kind of good through the plastic. There's just that look of, you know, the, the peppers when they're all done like that. So what I'm going to go ahead and do... I'm going to go ahead and set this in the refrigerator for at least an hour minimum. And um, I'll bring you back once I'm ready to get everything put together. Okay, I got some oil in the cast iron pan here because everybody voted to have this in a cast iron pan today. I will try it the other ways too. But I was kind of like outnumbered with, with this being in a cast iron today. So I'll go ahead and put this chicken in here first. What I just did was <clears throat> just cut open the bag so I could reach the chicken from the bottom. Now I might have some of the vegetables a little bit with this chicken, but it won't be a lot of it. Maybe in the future what I would do is... Uh, Put the oil with the vegetables and then put the oil with the meat. It might look prettier. Like I said, I don't normally make this. So it was something I wanted to see how we even like it and so on. Because like I know I like it when my daughter makes it, so.
Yeah, but I think next time what I would do is separate the vegetables from the meat. I'm not used to cooking this with this on my cast on my flat top stove either, but we'll see how well that works I and mean, hopefully it's gonna be fine also. But I'll let that cook for a few minutes and I will be right back. Alright, so that's pretty much almost done. I'll let it finish cooking when it's cooking with the vegetables here. And definitely next time I will do that, I'll separate the vegetables from the, the chicken. I think it would just look prettier. And I'll go ahead and cook this up a little bit more and I will be right back. Okay, now I did put about what would be about a cup of water in here because I just didn't like the way it was kind of like looking. So I'm going to go ahead and everything's done. I did a little fork taste test here. Go ahead and throw some on each um, shell here. And I was going to make some rice, but I just didn't. This will be fine. This will be more than enough food. So this is my first attempt of my own chicken fajitas. Now it doesn't look as good as what I was seeing yesterday online. I think the next time I try it, I am going to try it um, as a um, you know that you put it in the oven the sheet pan dinner. I think that was looking pretty good, but I think this had maybe a little bit more spice than I probably would have put normally. But this tasted pretty good, so uh, we'll see what the hubs thinks and um, what have you done differently when you made yours. Any suggestions for me going forth because like I said I want to be able to like this um, just let me know in the comments down below and you have a very blessed and wonderful day